Oh, welcome back to Ads Coys Conservatory. It's literally just stopped raining. Um, the little buggers have untethered the feeding ring. Nightmare. And old Donald Duck is getting sucked up by the uh, skimmer. <laughs> Bless him. I'll take them out. They're not real, by the way, before I get abused. Um, right, the skimmer is rocking. It's absolutely rocking. It's all clear. Um, still loads of blossom. Gonna come down on that. Um, there has been a problem. I will, um, that'll be up next. Um, this, today's video is a bit of a, you know, a bit of a mashup to be honest, because uh, every time I've gone out there, it's just been absolutely paying it down. Um, but I hope everyone's, uh, like mine, filters are waking up the beneficial bacteria, because my, um, my tests at the moment are um, spot on. So it just means they're definitely waking up. Um, Obviously, I couldn't do this live. pH is about eight, which which is good for me. No ammonia. Nitrite has risen since since I started filming. Filming, so it it was like in between naught and naught point two five. So I was having troubles with the nitrite. Um, and more importantly, I'm going to put a screenshot up. Um, I've bought the wrong API test kit, so um, I'll put a screenshot. Up in a minute to show you to get the right one. I got the one with the phosphate, and um, Leon and other people have shown me that I bought the wrong one. So, uh, anyway, so I just got home from work and what do you do? Watch neighbours, EastEnders? No, I don't. Us coy people, we build filters in the conservatory. Um, so, this is going to be the skimmer filter, it's only going to be two tier. But it's like the old, if you've seen my three stage, three stage skimmer. Not skimmer, sorry, I'm chatting. Backy shower, sorry. I'm not editing an hour, by the way, just go with the flow. <laughs> right, my three stage backy shower is 51 litres. These are the XL boxes. They're actually 60, I think they're 68 litres. So I'm only going to go two tier on this one. Um, and this is going to be from the skimmer back in. Um, I've got a delivery today. I've been waiting for. Um, is anyone in trouble getting f filter floss? Because I tell you, I've been waiting since last Thursday for three meters of filter floss, which I, I get all the time. But um, anyway, so I've got some. I've got some jet matting for. That's going to go in the original. Um, three tier backy shower, um, a bit more biological. Um, and then I've got this, um, which is just the bog standard three stage, coarse, medium, fine sp sponges. Um, they're going to need cutting down a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's that's the idea. So it's going to be, it's going to be. In this filter here, it's going to just be basically mechanical. Uh, I might second tier, maybe more biological, maybe some pumice, um, alpha grog. I love alpha grog, I think it works it's terrific. Um, my filters, are, filters, you know, my tests are coming up like absolutely bang on, and I've been using what I've been using in that part of this, you know, 5,000 litres plus. It's, you know, I've had one filter on that. And I did have problems a couple of weeks ago, but it's absolutely spot on now. And, and that's alpha coil, you know, adding beneficial bac bacteria as well, like the pom bombs and all that. <clears throat> it really does help. Um, that poor little kitty there. <laughs> I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to go out there and get him out. Um, yeah, so I'm basically gonna cut these down. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be coarse, medium, fine, and then it's going to be filter floss for the last last part. Um, the backy shower is the same principles as the free tier that I've got. Um, just, I've not added the... Um, so I've got an Evolution Aqua 90 and pressure pipe. Just, been that. just double holes. It does, does work quite well. It does. 
it sort of goes this way, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, then I've got an Evolution Apple end cap on there as well. Mate, they're, they're about three quid. Um, I've seen my last video, you can get these for about four quid if you shop around. And then, excuse me, and then there's going to be two inch and a half at the bottom here. Obviously, holes need drilling underneath this one. Yeah, looking good. Um, yeah, let's move on. All right, guys, I just cut that down to fit the box. So it's going to be, what's it coarse, medium, fine, and then um, filter floss underneath there. Um, always make sure you put an overfill hole, always. It's, it's an absolute must. You go on holiday for a week, if you've got an auto feeder running or whatever, this blocks up, goes out. You know, it could still overrise, you know, the, the overflow, end up spilling out, you know, float switch cuts out, got no filtration for the rest, rest of your oddity. Do you know what I mean? Um, yes, yeah, so I've got some uh, jet matting, like I say, it's good quality stuff. This, um, I got this from Aquacoy, so uh, come, come within two days, really speedy delivery, so I definitely recommend them. Um, don't know what that is. But yeah, so three of these are fifteen ninety nine. Some butchers at this. Oh, I can't really see it. Yeah, so fifteen ninety five free delivery. Um, Eleven by seventeen. This ain't going to be big enough for this box, but I'm going to use it for the um, the free tier package that I've got. Um, I actually meant to order six of these because I was going to put them sideways rather than you know, flat down, but um, no, I'll have to do for now. Um, bought something else as well. Because I, so my skimmer here, the pipe work, because I've been pulling the pipe work about, it's actually started leaking from the mouth on the on the external side of the sleeper. Um, so I've bought some new silicon for that. It's my fault, as usual. <laughs> So I bought some new silicon for that, and it's recommended as well. Um, so I'll just show you that because it's much cheaper than gold label as well. Because it's what they charge for gold. That's ridiculous. I'm, just, I'm not having it. Um, yeah, I'll just get onto that now. So this is the stuff. It's called Stixel. Uh, comes in clear. Obviously, I've got the black one because I've got a black skimmer. Uh, and if you read that, even sticks under water. Um, we'll put that to the test. Um, instructions on the back. Again, where's that come from? Night, right, guys, I'm having a night now. Um, this uh, it's no pump, it's not the pump's fault. It's not the pump's not failed me, I've failed the pump basically. And you can see the uh, the blossom in there, it's completely wedged it up. It's getting through the basket of the skimmer. Which is in here. Let's pull the leaf basket out. It's, uh, I don't know how, it's just it's getting stuck through the bottom. But it's another thing with a skimmer. It's got really small baskets, it's the only downside to the skimmer. Oh, and the fact that you've got, got to cut the liner. Because you've got to cut like an envelope in the liner. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take this apart now. It's got four screws on the back. Probably void the warranty after doing that. <laughs> but it's, um, this blossom is, sort of, is so tough. I, I don't think the impeller can chop it up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take it apart now. Have a look. See if we can get it. See if we can get it working. Um, yep. You can hear that. That's it trying to go now. It's trying to turn. Make an awful noise. Better switch that off. Well, I've taken it apart. Um, I'm going to do it to the right hand. cleaned it all up. Um, it's got to put that part back on there with a, with a circlip. And um, we power it up, see what happens. Back on a moment of truth. Let's plug her in. Hey, hey, there we go.
she is lift off. Uh, uh, good thing about this one as well, you get all the uh, when you strip it down, you've got all the uh, parts. You know, if you get them in the wrong, you know, just get them in the right order. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. All right, next step. I don't want that happening again. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the handle off of this, turn it upside down, get the uh, correct size, chop it out. It's just coarse foam, just to uh, stop that blocking that pump up. Like I said, I don't think it's the pump. It, I think it is just the sheer amount of blossom going down that pipe. It's just, you know, it, I mean, blossom only lasts about a month. It drops, drops everything, and then it's just it goes green, just starts growing leaves. So crack on with this now. Put that in there. Put it back in. There you go. Simples. Um, I tell you what would it would have been better though if I got that um, pergola up. I would just, could have bypassed this entire ordeal, but you know, not me. Nothing happens quickly on Adco. Eh? Um, right, let's crack on. Look at the state of this filter floss. This is retro drains, they're great, they're almost, almost too good. I've never, that's the worst. That's been two days, two days. And look at all these blossom seeds. Unbelievable. Clean this baby, clean this baby up and get it back in. Have a great day.